What's up guys? Welcome back to Caribbean Spice. I'm doing a pepper tasting today and I am doing the Naga Viper. Um, this was a pepper that was bred and produced out of England uh, by Gerald Fowler. It was said to be at one point the hottest, uh, super hot in the world. They come in around 1.4 million Scoville um, per pepper. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a taste, cut it open and um, see what it's all about. Decent amount of seeds. Um, you can see that we already got some oil there on the plate. Blooper. All right, so good amount of seeds. Not a very big placenta, but we do have some placental tissue there on the bottom. So down the hatch. So right off the bat, not a real screamer of a pepper. Pretty sweet um, in the beginning. Almost no floral notes, um, which is a little worrisome because usually these kinds of peppers, when they start sweet like this, um, they build up a lot more heat and they continue getting hotter for quite a while, but not um, a real, real hot pepper in the beginning. I could feel as the the juice is starting to go down my throat that is definitely building up the heat. Um, definitely uh, a slow burn starting out. First, uh, I have a little bit in the front of my mouth and my tongue. So I'm in the back of the throat, starting to get hotter now. But overall, um, very good tasting. Um, sweet, like I said, a sweet taste in the beginning. And um, not a, a crazy upfront burn like some of the, you know, Carolina Reapers and um, some of these really, really hot peppers that are right off the bat, you get quite a bit of floral and um, a real hard burn right in the beginning. We're still building at this point, um, starting to get it down here. And um, I can feel that I'm getting warmer. So definitely raising um, my temp the temperature overall um i don't have a real high tolerance um uh, compared to other people i just started eating super hot and um i've been doing tincture almost every day you know eating a few pods a day of you know three to five hundred um scoville per pepper trying to build my tolerance but overall for me um on a one to ten scale, I said this pepper is probably like a like a five or a six. Um, pretty hot, definitely. Um, I've definitely tasted hotter, but I've not eaten a whole pepper hotter than than it. Um, this is kind of like where I'm at with the with the beginning of what a you know trying super hot some kind of doing smaller pods that was also not a real uh big pod so of course it's not going to be as hot if you get a big pod with the same amount of um of heat the bigger pod is always going to be hotter because you got more capsaicin in that pod usually if it's if it's the, hit, the same amount of hotness but one's bigger than the other the bigger pod is going to get you 
um, worse. You're going to feel like it's a lot hotter. So for that reason, I've been doing smaller pods. That's not a big Naga Viper. It's actually a, a, a pretty small uh, representation of that, of that particular variety. I've gotten some that are a lot bigger on the plant, but I probably would not be able to handle it. And it, up to this point, um, this pepper is still building heat. Like it's still getting hotter and we're, you know, probably four or five minutes um, into the video. So thank you for watching guys. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna be doing pepper reviews all the time on this channel. I'm also gonna bring you out and show you some of my plants and um, a lot of the stuff that I got growing. Uh, right now I'm working on building soil biology, doing a whole bunch of stuff with color grasses. I just ordered some Sudan grass and I'm um, working with uh, Jadam uh, type of micro, uh, microbial solutions and things like that, adding that to the soil, trying to build some really, really good um, soil structure to continue growing some really good, delicious, healthy, organic peppers. If you guys are interested in seeds, remember to check out our Etsy store. I will provide a link below and you can get any of our peppers that um, we have offerings of seeds for. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you really soon on the next one.